you um, name it, the lake's got, it's got it. The sort of lake you'd want to learn carp fishing on, really, because, it, you, you know, you just got everything. A little gem, a forgotten gem, really, a forgotten gem of Frimley in the shadow of Pit 3. And it's looking stunning today, really, with all the leaves coming off and colours. Big head, big mouth, grey coloured fish, dark head, white mouth and that. And I'm thinking, it's that 36 again, isn't it? I haven't got a clue what this fish is, but I'm buzzing, late record, isn't it? Settled down, I'm happy. I'm like four sessions in and I'm, you know, I've caught fish that morning, so I'm buzzed up, you know, I've, I'm not going home with a blank even if I didn't catch. It was nice because I went round there, helped the chap weigh the fish, late record 53 plus. I was happy to see it, fired me up, it would have been a personal best common for me if it was me that had held it that night. God knows how old this one is, but he's made a lot of people happy. Proper old Trojan. Happy days. <laughs>Are you filming me being domesticated, are you? <laughs> Didn't realise these things were so bloody soapy. I can see why the old school trick was to throw them in the snags to get the fish out. <laughs> Better than soap, apparently. They're proper blooming greasy, they are. Oh, frothy. That soapy, I don't want it to taint the old brew. Okay, uh, another change of scenery this time. Back over at Frimley, did a episode, or whatever you want to call it, this time last year, I suppose. But yeah, we've been back over here because I've sort of had a bit of a result over here lately, over on the pit one where I fished last winter a little bit. Changed a few things and got it right this time. Not that I didn't get it right last time, but it's been going really well. So just having a quick cup of tea. There's a chap in the area on, I want to get into. He's down till midday-ish, something like that. It's like 10 o'clock at the moment. So we're just gonna quick cup of tea, load the barrel up, get over there and see if we can catch something whilst catching up and what I've been up to. Right, finally in the swim. Mate, he's uh, packed up and gone now. He's had it on his toes. Stroke of luck, really. He's, the old uh, rain came in, so I managed to get the bivvy up early. Right, I've got that up first. Got to keep the kit dry and that. Managed to get the old rods all rigged up. Everything's all set up. Just got to wrap the rods up, cast them on the spots, and then get a bit of bait around and hopefully catch a fish for the cameras, but we'll see. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get a bite or a fish to come back. It's a shallow lake, so but yeah, we'll give it a go. Just crack on with it. Fair, I do quite like them. The old bait screws. The modern day thing, isn't it? These days, bait screws of all sorts even do zig screws now, don't they? Yeah. Good little things. That was lovely drop. Bang on the money. It's like trying to sink the line through glue last week in the wind. All the leaves on the surface and trying to get the line to pull round with all them blowing against it. Got there in the end. It'll take about 10 minutes to get a line down, 80 yards of line. The joys of the autumn, eh? Yep, joys of the autumn.
get there though. You always get one road leaf holding you up though. Looks like we're nearly down though and straight here, so happy days. That was a good cast out and buzzing off that to be honest. There you go. Fishing. This one's going to do me a favour here, look. There you go, they're fishing, can't do no more than that. You get the kettle on. 